Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so today we are here at Epcot to see the Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, so something cool at the front of the park, we have um, Asha from Wish uh, in a flower, um, flower and Garden topiary this year uh, to celebrate the new uh, Disney movie that came out only recently. So yeah, we're going to go check out some of the food booths. Oh, we're going to check out the food booths now. All right, so our first booth of the Flower and Garden Festival is a Florida Fresh booth. Uh, so let's see what they have here. All right, so it looks like they have a lobster tail, a Cuban sandwich with a pork belly, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard sauce, and a strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake looks pretty good. Uh, they also have a cucumber watermelon slushy, which is uh, non-alcoholic. Um, they do have one with alcohol as well, uh, with gin. But yeah, maybe I might come back and try that strawberry shortcake. It actually looks pretty good. All right, our next booth is the Honey Bistro. Yeah, so I wonder if they have the same thing as last year. So they have chicken and waffles. Honestly, it looks pretty good, uh, but I'm not sure about that spicy honey. I don't really like spicy, but you know, maybe it might be worth trying. Not too expensive. Honey glazed cauliflower. I don't remember that being here last year. Um, it is, it has carrot puree, uh, rice peel off, vegetables, grapes um and they also have uh, a liquid nitro honey mascarpone cheesecake that actually sounds pretty good it's uh very different uh they do also have honey peach cobbler freeze with struso uh, that is a non-alcoholic uh beverage i believe so remember that last booth we were just at the honey bistro um, here is the Swirled Showcase, and this is actually where you'll find that uh, liquid nitro um, mascarpone cheesecake. And they have some interesting flavors here too. Uh, besides normal soft serve vanilla, they have peanut butter and grape jelly flavor. Um, also, uh, strawberry basil sorbet. I don't remember uh, any of this being here before. Um, I know there was an ice cream or like cake pops here before, but I don't remember yeah, I don't remember um, these ice cream flavors being here. Um, they do have some alcoholic ice creams too. Uh, vanilla soft serve with cantaloupe liqueur and the shower basil sorbet with the seltzer. So yeah, you can have a boozy ice cream here. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. So, all right, let's see our next booth. Okay, coming up to our next booth, the pineapple promenade. I think this has the same thing as last year though. I do see the hot dog and the a dough whip uh, with Fanta pineapple and the dessert violet lemonade. So yeah, I think this one hasn't changed at all from last year. Here is our next booth, the trowel and trellis booth. Let's see uh, what they have to eat. Okay, so impossible meatball, uh, soy glaze, sticky ribs, and a chocolate mousse uh, terrarium. Yeah, I think this was all here last year. I don't really remember. I think the terrarium was. I don't remember if the if the meatball or sticky ribs were. Our next booth is the Jardín de Fiestas in Mexico, um, and here they have the sopa. Uh, I cannot pronounce well. Uh, tamale, some kind of tamale, and a flan. But yeah, I don't remember if they had these last year or not, but. I think the flan de guayaba is new. This year inside the Odyssey building is a citrus blossom booth. Uh, they have orange sesame tempura shrimp with the orange chili sauce. And um, yeah, it looks good, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fan of spicy things. So I'm not sure that I would really like uh, chili sauce. Uh, and they do have a lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie looks good, but definitely not a fan of meringue, so probably not getting that. But it looks delicious. Alright, here we are at Lotus House. Here they have a spicy chicken skewer with peanut sauce, a house-made cre cheesy crab wontons, and pan-fried dumplings. Yeah, I think this was here last year, I think. Um, I know they have the dumplings from time to time at various festivals. And I think I've seen the chicken skewer before. Here in Germany, we have the potato pancakes, toasted pretzel bread with ham, melted cheese, and the warm cheese strudel with a berry compote. 
I think this is the same as last year. Okay, at Italy we have the Primavera Kitchen. Um, I cannot pronounce this one, but uh, the first item has tomatoes and pesto sauce. Maybe it's a pasta um, kind of thing. The second is definitely a pasta <laughs> uh, with spicy tomato sauce and buttery shrimp. And then uh, it's not pictured here, but there is a, a penne pasta with four cheese sauce and a chocolate cannoli with the peanut butter ricotta filling. Yeah, the things look pretty good, but yeah, I don't think anything. <laughs> I wouldn't get anything here. I'm not a big fan of pesto and I don't like spice or four cheeses or ricotta, but they look delicious. Our next booth is in America. It's called Magnolia Terrace. So we're gonna see what they have here to eat. All right, so here at Magnolia Terrace, they have a muffaletta, a spicy chicken gumbo, and banana foster bread pudding. So all, all Southern foods. Here in Japan at Hanami, we have the Fushi. Uh, a uh, plant-based soy meat uh, bun and a ramen cup salad. So Furushi is always here, but definitely this is my first time seeing a uh, plant-based soy meat uh, bun as well as the ramen salad cup. I think both of those things are new. They also have a watermelon strawberry lemonade here. That could be pretty good. Here at La Isla Fresca, they have an impossible Jamaican beef patty and a coconut tress leches. So I, I definitely am seeing a lot more um, impossible meat, <laughs> impossible burgers uh, pattern here at Epcot this year during Flower and Garden. So that's pretty cool. There's a tropical slush also with uh, lemonade and grapefruit. Here at the French Pavilion, we have a croissant with goat cheese, herbs, and roasted garlic. Uh, duck confit with orange sauce and uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, they have a cake with lemon, lavender, and thyme infused cream with a berry compote. And uh, beignet, uh, vanilla cream and caramel. See, so, yeah, I had the beignet before actually. It was, it was pretty good. Um, it's a little bit expensive for what it is, but it wasn't bad. Um, I think the other things were here before, but I don't remember, but I definitely remember the beignet. All right, in Canada, we have the scallops, beef tenderloin tips, and a chocolate maple whiskey cake. I remember the scallops and the tips here before. I don't remember if they had a whiskey cake here before, though. Oh, here's a hidden one. Farmer's Feast, kind of close to the test track area. They have a seared pork tenderloin, uh, grilled sweet corn on the cob, and a peach galette. Um, yeah, galette, kind of like the French cake. Yeah, the galette looks pretty good, and the... I could do it without the garlic and plant-based cheese, but the street corn looks pretty good. All right, I think this is the last booth. This is the brunch cot booth, very, also very well hidden. Um, here is an avocado toast, an impossible uh, chicken fried steak, an impossible sausage gravy, so biscuits and gravy, um, and fried cinnamon roll bites. Yeah, these look pretty good, honestly. I think I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting something from here. All right, so I actually ended up getting the fried cinnamon roll bites uh, from the brunch cot booth. And honestly, they were they were definitely pretty good. Uh, they were definitely a mix between like a croissant and like a cinnamon roll. So if you guys remember uh, at Epcot, they used to have the cronut, which was a croissant donut. It was basically a cronut. <laughs> it was basically a cronut with uh, cream cheese frosting like for a cinnamon roll and some uh, bacon on top. Um, so it was a little salty from the bacon and a little bit too sweet from all that cinnamon sugar, but definitely if you split it with someone, uh, it's a pretty good, uh, it's actually a pretty good snack. So I definitely recommend it. Um, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to try any of the other stuff. Um, but I definitely heard really good things about the impossible, uh, biscuits and gravy. So if you guys do get a chance to try it, um, I hope you do get, I do, I do hope that you do enjoy it. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I enjoyed walking around the food, oh, walking around the food booths at the Flower and Garden Festival as always. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.